next news is out of Cyprus, Greece. Greek Orthodox priest says gay people are caused by pregnant women having anal sex. Um, for any for any of you guys who don't know what Greek Orthodox is, it's basically a uh, Catholic. Um, and so, yeah, this I, priest I, is I saying I missed that, that part of the Bible. Where, <laughs> you, right? Yeah. But this, this is... This is okay. I'm, I'm going to say that after. Sorry. Um, so during his speech that he gave in Akaki, the bishop saint uh, mentioned that that uh, gayness is caused by something that is transmitted by the parents. Then he goes on to say that when a woman enjoys anal sex, a desire is created, and that desire is transmitted to. Uh, the unborn child. Now, I guess that's only for, I don't know, like, is he saying that's only how gay boys are? Yeah, are but how, how does lesbians, how do lesbians, or how do our lesbians cre are created? Um, so it's it's odd. And, and what about bisexual? Is that when your parents have anal sex, but your mom doesn't enjoy it as much? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. We, uh, yeah, go ahead. But this is this is important that I think we point out the religion of the person who's saying this because so many times we hear these these kind of things from imams, um, imams, uh, you know, eating ramen noodles causes your children to be gay. We've we've reported that they've said things like uh, masturbation causes your children to be gay. Thinking about another woman while you're having sex with your wife causes your child to be gay. We've heard these things come out of, you know, religious preachers' mouths. It's ma mainly been from the Muslim um, Muslim world, but here we've got we've got this Greek Orthodox uh, bishop here saying that it's anal sex that does the trick. I'm very I'm actually very curious to see how he came to that conclusion. You know what I mean, like. Like ha what he did, like I don't. I, I'm actually genuinely curious. Like I really wish I could. Is this guy a like, big deal, Greek Orthodox priest, or is he? Just, I don't know. He seems. I've like never a, heard of him before. He seems like a big deal. He seems like he's in a conference and people are taking him seriously. Um, but, like, I don't. I really don't understand. Like, do they not hear themselves, and do they not like? Are they so out of touch that they do not understand that this is going to sound and look extremely? stupid and ridiculous and people it's gonna be trending the very next day after they say it like do, are they just out of touch well maybe they want it to be trending maybe right. they you know want to say outrageous things to get people talking about it right so for how would that work by the way so if you're if you're enjoying first of all they don't even like it's very interesting that they think gay sex as soon as you say gay sex, they think about anal sex, right? Because they don't, they think like, you know, they it's all about the f anal sex that gay men enjoy. It's not like, even before you have sex, they, they're they attracted to other men. Like, it's not just about the physical aspect of it that makes it, you make someone gay. It's, you know, even before you have sex, when you see a man, if a man is gay, sees another man, they're attracted to them. It's not that just like, I really need anal sex right now. You know, it's not about just, you know, it's not about, you understand what I'm saying? They think like it's all, it's just that the, they think gay man is just about the desire to have anal sex. They think that's a, that's just what being gay means. They don't understand it's no, it's, it's a general desire of a you know a general attack, attraction between two men, and completely ignores lesbians as well here. How would they, okay? So these is it's also very interesting because I think these people are not very much bothered by lesbians, right? The fact that they always talk about oh this is how you avoid being gay, they mean gay men, because that's what grosses them out. Lesbians don't really gross that they see that as like such a big thing to worry about Because thinking about lesbians doesn't really they're not very really, not much gross out about it That's the that's the worst thing that could happen to uh, your child like oh if you really want to uh, Let me scare these parents about so that they can't have so that they shouldn't they don't have anal sex like by the way So another thing is interesting is that the way that this guy thinks biology works They think like when you're enjoying something that enjoyment transfers to your to your baby like they think like the neurons are connected somehow to your brain with the baby's neurons or do you think like thoughts transfer through blood like these people's understanding of biology is so fucked up like 
So I have, I have, um, I kind of disagree. What? I think that people, <clears throat> it's not that they, that they find anal sex so disgusting, so they don't care about lesbians. I think they very much do. Um, <clears throat> I don't think they like us at all. I think that uh, what it is, is that they don't care about women as much as they care about boys. Mm. So, and that's kind of in every culture. Um, you know, it's, it's women take on men's last names uh, so the the children take on their last names and so it's it's part of the lineage and they want their boys to have babies and so uh, they don't want their boys to be gay they don't care about the they don't care about girls mm. um, and I think that that's ultimately what that stems from it, this guy's talking about anal sex with parents and it being passed down caring about gay, boys that are being born gay, but who cares about women? And I think that that's a common trend, and I think that it's uh, in every culture, and I think that's why we get a pass on so much uh, being lesbians versus gay men. Right. And um, by the way, not I know somebody's going to say that, not that you think a woman, lesbians get a pass, like lesbians are hunted down and killed in many places. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying when it comes to this shit, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, Joe, um, Shopam, do you want to add a comment? By the way, mute your, mute your microphone when you're not speaking, Shopam. Uh, Shopam, do you want to add anything to this? Yeah, I, w I just wanted to say what Ali said. The same thing. Oh, the same thing. Okay. But React is common in every culture. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, let me read. Uh, t top comment is by Joe. Joe is saying, remember when the Greeks were the uh, pinnacle of human intelligence? That was a long time, long, long time ago. I, you know, guys, don't generalize an entire population. This is just one guy. This is this this guy doesn't represent the Greek population, right? And you think like you Joe is referring to the the time where the philosophers, so many great philosophers existed in in Greece, in Greece um, and there was so much you know knowledge. You know, basically the the um, the first Enlightenment era what happened in uh, came from Greek philosophers, which eventually led led to the European Enlightenment um, when they rediscovered the text through Arabic translations. But but even that at their time there were a lot of idiots at their time that might might have thought stuff like this. Just you know, go look at the people that Plato was arguing with and the stuff that some of them believed in and some of the things that they say. But like, don't like just be like, oh, this guy is an idiot, he's Greek. Oh, Greek used to be the source of knowledge and philosophy, what shame, come back. Are you really coming up with trends based on anecdotal evidence? Like, no, don't generalize things. Uh, second top comment is saying, becoming a priest of any kind is caused by too many hits by, the, by a dick in the head uh, of the fetus inside the womb, okay. That was a weird comment. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.